But yeah, so yeah, man, I won't be... I won't be paying no fucking... I mean, it's tempting, but... Nah, man. Put in the fucking work. Put in the work, man. Your hard efforts will never go unnoticed. Like, one of the guys, one of the subscribers, Clark, he was saying, um, ah, oh, like, when I, when I spoke about, I like doing those videos where I'm moving around the house. Don't get it twisted. I like doing those videos, but they're a pain in the neck because although it's like a, what, 15 minute video to you lot, but that might take me fucking four hours to shoot that video or whatever, innit, yeah? Because I'll stop or whatever, innit, yeah? And it would take me an hour or so to edit the video as well, innit, yeah? Now, my man said, oh, you shouldn't really bother with those videos, innit, yeah? Like, it was during a live stream, whatever, innit, yeah? Because it takes too long. I get it, but sometimes, you know, there's two things here, innit, yeah? Quality, yeah? And it's also about doing something that you like as well, yeah? You have to enjoy it. Like, I don't just get on YouTube and make videos just for the sake of making videos. I actually enjoy being on YouTube. Yeah? And I'm telling you, when you've got that ethos and that passion out there, one day you'll be rewarded for your hard work. Yeah? Yeah. You make a video that you're proud of yeah? and you put a lot of energy into, one day you'll be rewarded for that. It's as simple as that. Yeah? You can make a hundred videos, two hundred videos, whatever, innit? Yeah. And let's say ten percent of those videos are those ones moving around, whatever, innit? Yeah. You might be wasting your time, quote unquote, yeah, making those videos, yeah, moving around, yeah. But one day, right, one of those videos where you're moving around the house, that might be the banger. That might be the video that you get recognized for, yeah. Like, I'm telling you already, that video, London and Northampton, yeah, that video is getting more views than most of my videos, yeah? Probably because it says London and Northampton, but people actually find the video funny, yeah? They find the video funny and inspiring at the same time. So if you watch something that you find funny and inspiring at the same time, you're definitely going to want to pass it on. It's, it's left an impression on you, yeah? So, like... You don't watch me, you find me inspiring, but you don't probably find me, I know you don't find me funny as well, look, look, come on fam, you got AY London laughing his head off, isn't it? you don't find me inspiring, but you also find me funny as well, yeah? so that's how you definitely can always want to tune into man or watch man's videos, because you know, like, I always got some trick up my sleeve or something, isn't it? Yeah? Like, you always know something wild is going to happen in, or something unexpected is going to happen in these videos that I'm making, yeah? That's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about, man. You have to do what you enjoy as well. I reckon the reason why a lot of these people probably shadow band as well, quote unquote shadow band, they're not enjoying what they're doing. Yeah? If you really enjoyed what you was doing, you wouldn't be too worried about the results. Yeah? But it probably is a chore for them to get on YouTube and make these videos and stuff like that. But man, I made a video, that video I made, about my driving and riding experience. Blood, that took me two days to shoot the fucking video and a day to edit that Ross Clark video. I ain't been paid a penny from that video, but you know what, yeah? It's that energy that you put out there, right? You put in that hard work, yeah? One day you'll be rewarded so long as you keep going, yeah? So it might not even be like getting rewarded from YouTube, it just you might be rewarded in other in other ways, other avenues. That's what it's all about, man. You put in the hard work. I can make four hundred videos just with the camera in my hand or camera on a tripod or whatever in it, yeah. But I can do a little bit better than that. So why not make the effort? Why? Just because I'm not getting paid right now. Get paid in the long run, man. Get paid in the long run. Me throughout my day, what I do during the day. I try to make sure that whatever I do, apart from obviously eating food and going and running and doing press-ups and shit like that, my daily task, there's something that it's, it's all geared towards some monetary value, yeah? So put it this way, yeah? Like, me fixing up my house, yeah? That's adding value to my house. It's making my house look nicer. So therefore, if I went to go and sell it, my house would be more appealing 
to a potential buyer now than it was before. So me doing the tiles and laying the carpet, making the house look fresh, painting walls, is making my house look more appealing. It's adding value to my house. Yeah? Me making these videos and that, yeah? I'm not getting paid for it now, but as I said, right? It's geared towards monetary value, yeah. So if I'm not, I'm not getting paid for it now, but eventually I will. Yeah? Writing that book, I ain't getting paid for it now, but eventually I will make money from writing the book. And when I when I publish it and I've got books to sell, I'll be selling books. Yeah, how many I don't know. Yeah, even that, I might not get rich off the book. I'm not even hoping to get rich off the book. Yeah? I'm hoping that book puts me out there. I say yeah, bam, get this guy on TV or boom. Get him into schools, they're paying, or get him here, whatever, in it. Right? That's what it takes, man. It takes that sacrifice. It takes that, mm, how do I say? Um, yeah, it takes that sacrifice. It takes that, that type of mindset where you're like, you know what, yeah? I might not even get paid for this, but it's going to lead to something greater. Right? Guys, if I'm being honest, yeah? I don't think I'm going to make any money off that book. Like, money, like, oh, oh, my God, this, this fucking book. Everyone must read it. You must put that book underneath your pillow before you go to bed. I don't really care, any. Like, I'm, I've got a passion for the book, but I don't really see it going that far, whatever, innit? I'm just thinking, oh, yeah, this is just a stepping stone. That book is just a stepping stone. All it is for me is just a way to advertise myself. And the way for me to advertise the book is to make the YouTube channel. Yeah. So I made the YouTube channel so that I could advertise my book. I made my book so that I could advertise myself. And obviously with the YouTube channel, I'm advertising myself as well. Yeah. It's all about putting in the work, man, and not expecting results straight away. Yeah. Like three hours, 25 minute live stream. Not got paid a penny. Yeah, I'm not even entitled to super chats. Not even entitled to super chats. But look, look all the hours and the work I'm putting in, right? One day, yeah, I'll be on YouTube. I'll have enough subscribers so that I can get super chats and get paid and stuff like that. And then, bam, watch the fucking money roll in. Yeah, because people are going to be loving the content, what I've got to say. 